Hi, welcome to the three minute lesson on porphyrias. At the end of the session, you should be able to classify porphyrias and list its common clinical features. Explain the basis behind clinical presentation of porphyrias. Porphyrias are a group of disorders due to defect in enzymes involved in heme synthesis. There are eight steps in heme synthesis and defects in each of these enzymes leads to a distinct type of porphyria. Based on the site of overproduction of intermediates, porphyrias can be classified as hepatic and erythropoietic types. An example for a hepatic porphyria is acute intermittent porphyria and for erythropoietic it is congenital erythropoietic porphyria. Porphyrias can also be classified based on cl clinical presentations as acute and cutaneous porphyrias. Acute intermittent porphyria is an example for the acute type while congenital erythropoietic porphyria and porphyria cutanea tarda are examples of cutaneous porphyrias. Porphyrias are rare disorders and most of them have an autosomal dominant inheritance. The most common porphyria, porphyria cutanea tarda, is caused by deficiency of UPG decarboxylase. The most common acute porphyria is acute intermittent porphyria due to deficiency of HMB synthase. Acute porphyrias usually present with neurological symptoms. The symptoms are more common in women after puberty due to the influence of progesterone on heme synthesis. Abdominal pain is the commonest symptom due to involvement of abdominal nerves. Several other symptoms can also occur due to involvement of central, peripheral or autonomic nervous systems. Often these attacks are life threatening and require immediate attention. Some examples of factors that trigger an acute attack of porphyria are intake of drugs that induced cytochrome P450 synthesis, metabolic stress and progesterone. The cutaneous porphyria is present with anemia, blisters, scarring and increased pigmentation of the sun exposed areas. In both types of porphyrias, the urine may be dark colored uh, due to excretion of porphyrins. <clears throat> the differences in clinical presentation of porphyrias is due to the intermediates that accumulate in each. If the major metabolite accumulating is ALA, the presentations are acute with neurological involvement. This is because ALA resembles the neurotransmitter GABA. On the other hand, if porphyrins are the accumulating intermediates, it leads to photosensitivity. This is because porphyrin compounds readily react to light and cause free radical induced damage. Management of acute porphyrias is to identify the precipitating factor and avoiding it. During an acute attack, intravenous heme infusion is tried since it suppresses ALA's expression in the liver. For cutaneous porphyrias, the major management strategy is protection from sun exposure. That brings us to the end. Thanks for watching.